Leroy Chow joins us from Houston to talk more about China's space program. He's a former American astronaut and international space station commander. Leroy, welcome to the program. Boy, what an exciting 24 hours for China. How big of an achievement is this launch and the mission? And of course, it comes after another major feat, the longest ever manned space mission in November. Well, that's right. And so this is a big step for China. The Tenzhou is a critical piece of the future space station. Uh, even if you get a space station up into or low Earth orbit, you have to be able to resupply and refuel that space station. So this is a critical test, uh, not only of the new cargo vehicle and its ability to dock automatically with the station, but also to automatically refuel the station with such vital uh, components as propellant, and, uh, and water and also uh, breathing oxygen as well. So talk about some of the uh, possible challenges that uh, might come up during docking and refueling and also talk about the really technologies, be technologies being used here. Right. So as you know, of course, the Tenzhou is, is unmanned. That is, there are no astronauts on board. And so all the systems are automatic. They have to function automatically. They have to have backup, redundant backups. And it has to all work. Now, if, uh, if it's been designed, and I'm not sure if it has, but if it's been designed like uh, some other vehicles, the crew on board the space lab or space station could, in the future, take manual control and guide it to a safe docking if that becomes necessary. Uh, but the uh, sophistication, the level of sophistication to automatically rendezvous and dock to an orbital vehicle is uh, pretty significant, and uh, you know, to do it reliably and repeatedly. And of course, refueling, automatic refueling, the propellants that are being uh, reloaded are, <clears throat> are pretty caustic, are pretty dangerous, and it's, it's a big deal technologically to be able to automatically refuel uh, without risk of contamination to the crew. Now, what is next in this process? What does all this mean for China's space program down the road? Well, this is a critical piece. And so, you know, China is planning to launch the first element of their space station sometime, I believe, in 2018, and then have uh, an operational space station by 2020 and uh, total uh, station complete, you know, construction completed by 2022. And so during that entire time, while a crew is, while crews are going to the space station, they will need to be resupplied, uh, not only with propellant for the station itself, but also with you know, such items as food and water and, uh, and breathing oxygen and other components, uh, spare parts. And so you need a cargo ship. There has to be a cargo ship. And for China Space Station, that's the Tenzhou. Uh, you're one of the first, you are the first American to visit the Astronaut Research and Training Center in China. Uh, you have met some of these Chinese astronauts. What is going through their mind right now? What are they thinking? Oh, sure. No, it was a great honor. In 2006, I was the first American invited to visit the uh, Astronaut Center of China, and I met Yang Li Wei and Fei Junlong, and then over the years got to meet a few few other uh, Chinese astronauts, including Ni Hai Sheng and uh, Jai Ji Gong. Uh, it was kind of special to meet Jai Ji Gong because he was China's first spacewalker, and that is actually my specialty as well. But, you know, what they're thinking right now is, you know, they're watching their program move forward in a very methodical, uh, purposeful way. Uh, of course, Tiangong 1 and Tiangong 2 were great successes. Uh, and all of the Shenzhou vehicles that have gone to visit Tiangong 1 and 2 have been successful. And now this is the next step, to demonstrate that they have the cargo uh, ship working and able to do refueling and other operations. And it's one more step towards that permanently manned space station uh, that is the first element set to launch just next year. So a uh, very exciting time for China's space program. Exciting indeed. Leroy Chow, thank you so much.